Hey, this is the Whips Family of Five here, and as you can see, we're in the middle of a Wisconsin winter. And unfortunately, we had a little mishap with our John Deere 125 and our snowblower. Um, this is the result. One of these accidentally got sucked up into our snow blower. And after a good hour, hour and a half of unwinding and cutting metal springs, we were finally able to free the augers. And now we're about to put the belt back on. The belt seems to be in okay shape. So if you ever hit anything and you throw your belt, we'll show you how to get it back on. The first step is to get the belt attached back to the blower. There's three pulleys on the front. One is right inside here. This is the main one that drives the second stage of the snow thrower. The belt is going to go around that one like so. There are two additional pulleys on the left and the right side and those are going to guide the belt to the rear of the tractor. So we are going to fish this in. I am going to get it onto the large belt or uh, large pulley first. Okay, I've got it on the large pulley and then I will work each side on. Unfortunately, I have to take my, my gloves off for this and my hands do not fit in here so good. Okay, so it, it works good to get yourself at a good angle to be able to, to work the, the belt into position. Is there some ice down here, Jake? Oh, there it goes. There is a chunk of ice right there. So we've got the belt routed around the big belt and down to these guiding belts as well. Okay, so now we're going to reattach the belt to the, uh, the drive here, the mule drive. And you're gonna to wanna to put the V portion of the belt inside this, like so. And then on the idler, it comes on this side. And you're gonna to need to tension that, push that out. And then what you wanna do is you wanna get this belt started and just slowly Turn it, and it's almost done. I think what's happening is we got a lot of ice up in our snow thrower, and it's not letting the belt turn that pulley in the front. So this is getting hung up. There we go. Okay, so this feels feels nice and snug. This is where we had it before our little incident. So let's go back up front and take a look at what's preventing this belt from sliding right now. From the little dusting of snow we had this morning, I, I had to use this 
as a snow plow, which works good for light fluffy snow in an emergency, but it leaves a lot of snow and ice in here. So let's get this cleaned out. So I think we've got it pretty well cleared out. Let's fire it up and see what happens.